Hi guys and welcome back to my uh, football manager save as uh, Blackburn Rovers. We come off three straight defeats. Um, it's one of the it's one of the most disappointing runs of the season that we have had so far. And um, we have dropped down to sixth place in the table. We are only now four points clear of seventh. So we run a, risk, a high risk of falling out of the top six of the, um, the playoff places. So we need to make some quick improvements to the to the team. Now I've been, uh, what I've been doing is I've been preparing for this Barnsley match. It is the 40th um, fixture of the season out of 46. Barnsley, they sit in 20th place, just above um, the bottom three. But they won their last game, and like I've said in early videos, there is no easy game in the Skybed Championships. But we need to get some sort of result in this game. If we don't, we're in trouble. So I did the best I can with the team selection, which I will go into, and what I think will work with uh, tactics wise. I'll go into that in a second, but I'm just going to go into the inbox and into the save. Barnsley, they are 6-4 to four favourites on to win the game. Barnsley, they can move up to 18th in the table if they manage to win, their, their win, this, win this game. Uh, we can move up to 5th in the table if, and leapfrog Wigan if we win, depending on obviously their result. But they are six to four favourites, and um, rightly so. We've lost our last three in a row. Like I was saying, there they won their last game three 0 They beat Millwall, which was a big win for them. And they had sixty percent of the possession and twenty one shots. So they have plenty of chances by the looks of things. I handled the tactical briefing. But before I did that, I held a team meeting as well. Um, what it was, I got this email from David Law, one of my coaches, and he noticed that the morale was low around the squad and it would be a good idea to hold a team meeting and a bit to lift everyone's spirits. Um, as it says there, you have spoken to the squad in, in an attempt to raise the spirits, and that's what I did. Um, basically told them that we are capable of much better, and if we just get our heads together, we can. We have the squad to get these um, results that we need. I believe, because we have, we've only got seven games left of the season, if we can get three wins out of those seven we can give ourselves a great chance if we can get four wins i believe that we'll we'll finish in the top six so it's as though what i'm what i'm what i'm trying to treat it like is though this is the start of the season now and we need to get four out of seven wins basically i think to stay in the top six tyler mcloyer and jack vale um they have a wage increase and Ryan Niambe has been called up to the Nambia squad. Sorry, Nib Namibia squad, <laughs> if I'm pronouncing that right. So, yeah. Fitness concerns and fitness tests have came in. Bradley Johnson. He won't. He won't be playing. He hasn't really featured for me at all this season. He won't be in this. But Joe Rankin Costello, he will be on the um, on the bench today for us. Some of the fans commenting before this game saying that Dugal is a worry. But we're going to turn things around and beat them again. So they're confident with that. Dugal is so good and we've been so bad. I'm not sure we're capable of beating them here again. So the fans are a bit mixed. But if we win the game, 
we can possibly move up to fifth again. If we draw or lose, we'll stay in sixth, but we're going to be in a bit of trouble if the other results don't go our way. So it's a huge game, this one. So this is the team that I picked for the game. Um, it's going to be a bit different in terms of what I've been playing um, recently. But when you go on a bit of an unbit, a bit of a bad run, you need to change things up a little bit. So that's slight tweaks here and there. So I'll explain them now what I've done. Daryl Lenihan is going to come back into the team. Captain the side at centre back with Charlie Mulgrew. Ryan Niambe. Is going to come back at right back. But the big changes are going to be here. Because we've got Rothwell and Armstrong. Both very fast. Up the wing. And on the counter which is what we need. So. They'll both be playing on the wings today. And Dominic Samuel. Although he's had a bit of a drought. He's going to get the chance to try and end that now. So he's going to be up front today. We're going to hit those early crosses in. Bradley Dack is going to start in the middle of them. He's not the fastest Bradley Dack. So that's why I went for quickness on the wings. So Bradley Dack can maybe hold the ball up. And um, distribute it to them. Or keep it ready for Samuel. But the injuries um, are starting to make a play. Now Lewis Travis is out for four weeks. Well four to five weeks. And so is um, John Buckley. So it's impacted the bench as well. Made a few changes on there, like for like. But we haven't got... We've got a strong team, but it's not the strongest that it could be. But it's an attacking style. Um, what we have been playing, we've been hitting early crosses, so that's going to continue today. We're going to play for set pieces. Play out of, def play out of defense as well. With a quite a high tempo. The one change that I have made, it's a very little change, is when the, my goalkeeper is in possession, um, I'm now going to try and distribute the ball a bit more quicker, a bit quicker than we have been, uh, rather than trying to slow the pace down because um, when we're a goal down, what we have been in previous games, um, we've been a bit slow getting it out, so that's the only change that I've, been, I've made for that one. And when we're out of possession, same again, use tight to marking, get stuck in. High line of engagement and a much lower defensive line. But the distribute quickly is real, basically the only um, the only tactical change that I've made. But personnel-wise, um, it's going to involve a lot of wing play in this one, trying to get those early crosses in the Dominic Samuel, who can score goals when he wants to. So that's my team for this game. It's a big game away at Barnsley. We need some sort of result, otherwise we're in trouble in my opinion. So here we go.
pressure is on. There we have it, ladies and gents. Our fourth straight defeat away at Barnsley. Um, after we score first, um, we hit the post in the first five minutes. It looked like it was going to be a totally different game to what the outcome was. We started very well. We created chances. Um, but the main problem was our final ball. Again, we created chances. We couldn't put them away. And our final ball was just lazy, lacklustre. The players didn't look like they were 100% focused. The concentration was a bit off, especially for their third goal. We sort of just watched them play the ball through. Um, and as it says there, Richie Smallwood allowed Brown to score a tidy finish into the bottom right hand corner. And that's what happened. And then their fourth goal was just the icing on the cake. Marking was terrible, it was everywhere. Um, the players' heads are down. We lost four in a row. Um, we're barely in the top six now, um, which I'll go through in a second. But huge, huge disappointing performances as of late um, towards the end of this season. The six games to go, we're still in the top six. Um, we're higher than we thought we were going to be, but we face Leeds next, who are top of the table. And if you look, if you're being realistic, it's not looking good, is it really? What a turnaround in a negative way. Um, Leeds as well, they've secured a playoff place, so if they don't go through automatically, they'll be going into the playoffs. A bit of criticism has come in from for myself um, from Stephen White. My press officer has informed me the latest headline is Blackburn boss unwilling to experiment. Blackburn boss man, uh, manager Mr Marquez has seemed reluctant to experiment tactically in recent games despite his team's poor form in the league. Um, the fans have begun to call for Mr Marquez to abandon his 4-2-3-1 wide formation. And try something different in an effort to get a win which I won't be doing we've got this far with this system there's only six games to go um, the players really won't be they, they won't be able to get consistent they won't be able to learn a new tactic with only six games left I don't think so I understand the pressure is on um, I'm still loving it, loving the game, uh, loving this season, it's what it's all about, but we need to turn it round. Newcastle, um, they've received £26,000 for the Adam Armstrong transfer deal, he's now scored 20 goals for Blackburn. And we've got some fitness concerns for Joe Rothwell, Lewis Holtby and Amari Bell. And um, they look a little bit jaded and can do the rest. Luckily, we have a 14-day period now until we face Leeds. 14 days rest. If we go into the social feed, the fans are getting a bit frustrated, well, really frustrated. Saying Rome wasn't built in a day, we need to persist with this tactic, otherwise we'll be starting from square one with another, which I've, I've just been talking about. But the opposite, painfully obvious that we can't win with this setup and the manager refused to change it, so we need to change the manager. Wow, that's harsh. That's the first time, really, um, that has come up since the start of the season, really. Do they really want me out? Um, starting to look hopeless for Blackburn. Can't find him from anywhere. And Marquez hasn't provided anything different tactically. But the opposite again. Not going to moan too much about that. Bit frustrated given the amount of chances we created though. Yet it's been the same story all season. We're creating the chances. Um, but just not putting them away. Especially like in that game. Um, and... 
I believe if you're in, if you're around that area, um, you've got more chance than any to score. Um, so that that's the idea of this tactic. That's why we are where we are, but we just can't seem to be putting it away at the moment. I'm just going to go into the fixtures and results of game 40. West Brom beat Sheffield Wednesday away from home. Obviously we lost 4-2 away at Barnsley. Cardiff beat bottom of the table Charlton. You can see the other results, go through them if you like, but I'll go through the important ones. Leeds beat Luton to remain top. Millwall lost at home, so they're still in the drop zone. The pressure is here. Nottingham Forest win 3-0 at home to Bristol. Preston also win 2-0 there in 7th. They're only a point behind us now. Brentford win, so they're even further ahead of us. Wigan win, they're even further ahead of us. QPR, though, they're up to 2nd because they beat Fulham 1-0. And this is the league table. Leeds, they're top of the Skybird Championship who we play next. We are at home, so we might have a bit of a home advantage. We did well against them left, um, last time, beat them last time, believe it or not. So I might have to revisit an old tactic um, to try and beat them this time, because things do need to change. But QPR are in second. Um, on 79 points. They're in the automatic promotion places now. What a win for them. That was over Fulham. Fulham are down to third. They're a point behind QPR. Brentford are in fourth. Wigan are in fifth. But they're actually five points ahead of us now. We are in sixth on 68 points from 40 games. We're only a point above seventh. When at one point we were 10 points clear. What... Um, what a change this has been. What a season, but what a change. Nottingham Forest, they're in eighth as well. They're only three. <coughs> Excuse me. They're only three points behind us. At the bottom, Birmingham, five points clear of the uh, bottom three after their draw with Huddersfield. Millwall, with their defeat at home, are in the bottom three still. Five points from safety. Luton are second from bottom. They're eight points from safety. Charlton are rock bottom of the Skybet Championship and are now 13 points from safety. So it's not mathematically over, but it's looking more and more likely that we could see Charlton down soon. But the big news with us is that we're still in the top six, but we've lost four games in a row now. And we face Leeds next. Uh, we've got a 14 day break in football manager terms. So a big break is coming up. But our financial salaries for wages are everywhere at the minute. Um, we're on a bit of a downward spiral. Like I say, we've lost the last four games now. There you go. So every match in March, we lost every single game. That's that's a hell of a stat right there. We have Leeds next. We're at home, as you can see here. We beat Leeds last time two one away from home. That was in our that was nearly the start of our um, twelve game unbeaten run. But it's going to be very different this time. Leeds, although they were good then, they look a bit more comfortable now because they know that they're basically nearly up. They just need to maintain that. But yeah, um, we have players that need rested. We've got injuries in the team. We've got Leeds next, who are top. They're nearly 20 points ahead of us. The 19 points ahead of us um, in the actual table. 
So this game, if any, if there was any that risks us dropping out of the top six, it's probably this one. But we'll still remain positive and we'll try and look at some old systems that we had. Um, but we, when we beat Leeds with last time, we'll look at the team, we'll look at the system, we'll see what we can do. But thanks very much for watching. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment in the comment section, tell me what you think. Um, it's changed very quickly. Do you think we're still going to finish in the top six? Who knows? Uh, you just got to remain positive, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.